So welcome everyone uh, in this lovely, lovely late afternoon. Um, so a quick roll call before we get started. Uh, Emma Cornwell. Hello. Here are you. You're here. <laughs> um, Marilyn Claire. I don't see right now. Uh, Rodney Kunath is not able to be here with us today. Counselor Jeremy Dubbs. I am here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Kathy Murray is also not able to be here today. I think it's her birthday, actually. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney Meninger. Welcome. Hello. Did I Hello, get your pronunciation right? Is it Meninger? It's, it's Meininger. Meininger. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Um, and Jenna Perna Elias is also not able to be here with us today. Um, so we've got a small hearty group. <laughs> and thanks <laughs> Ben and Jacob for joining in. Um, so we'll start with public comments, if either of you have any. Okay. Um, so before I um, welcome the, the new members to our commission. Um, Linda Kakos submitted her resignation um, recently to oh. Keith. So she is stepping down from the Disability oh. Commission. And so I just wanted to, I know she's not here, but I just wanted to say thank you to Linda for her many years of service to the Disability Commission and we are going to miss um, her enthusiastic and lively and positive voice. So thank you, Linda, if you watch this recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if any of you see her in town, um, you can say thanks. Yeah, I just saw her husband today, actually. Yeah, oh. Peter. Yeah, Peter. Great. But I, yeah, next time I see her, I'll let her know. because uh, Yeah. Well, def definitely she'll be missed. Yeah. Um, so a very hearty welcome to Sydney Meininger. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining the commission and being a, a part welcome. of it. We um, look forward to working with you and, and hearing your input and your take on things. So thanks for your um, for volunteering to do this. And I know Jenna mm -hmm. is not here, but a hearty distant welcome to Jenna <laughs> Elias for mm -hmm. joining the Disability Commission as well. And um, I know we all look forward to her voice and her input, her experience on the commission as well. Um, so next month we can say a, another mm -hmm. welcome to her, but I wanted to mm -hmm. acknowledge that we have two wonderful new members as part of the commission. So thank you. Ray. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um, so we have um, approval of the previous minutes from July 9th um, to vote on, which is a little um, tricky. Yeah. Emma? Yeah. I actually couldn't find the minutes. Um, I don't know if I just missed the email. Okay. Uh, did you get an email about like with the agenda on it? Did it maybe yes, it was... but I oh, you did. Okay. Any minutes on it? Or maybe. But you guys got them. Yes. I th I, I think so. I'm looking now just to make sure. Yeah. Let me. Um. It would have been in mid July. Yes, I'm seeing it here. Oh, well, yeah, his new email says agenda and minutes, but it actually doesn't have the minutes in it. Yeah. So there might be an older email. I'm not sure. Let me. So it's from July 10th, I think. Let me, sorry, let me open this. <clears throat> okay, so it's not, no. Mm -hmm. So he sent them um, July 10th. At two twenty-five p.m., if that. Okay. Oh yeah, I see it now. Huh. 
Um, do you want to to just take a quiet moment and look through those, Emma, before voting? Sure. Sorry, I don't want to hold up our meeting. <laughs> um, that's okay. I mean, that's okay. I'm reading over them right now too. There's no. I mean, unless it's okay with everybody else. Um, Emma, I just emailed it to you in case you don't find okay. it. No, I, I actually did just notice a typo. Um, in number four, it says that Emma Watson is the vice chair. <laughs> Are you Emma Watson? I mean... <laughs> I, I, really like complain, I think, it's a, but I think it's, it's a famous actress, right? It is yeah, a famous yeah, actress. And I actually so emailed I emailed Keith to correct that. Okay. <laughs> um after he sent the minutes. Um so cool, that's already right. I know out, it was updated, but I I guess we didn't get the updated, maybe. Looks like he meant to, but maybe he just forgot to attach it or something to the email. Yeah. Because it, it says it in the subject that it has the minutes. Okay. It's just not there. Yeah. Court, do you happen to have access to the July minutes from Keith? You're sorry, you're muted. Yeah, sorry about that. I um I don't have access to him. He sent me an email that he sent me the later email that said it had the minutes in it, but it only has the sidewalk survey and the agenda. Okay. So, but if uh, if if you want to send me those minutes that have the, and I can make the correction in them before they get posted. Yep. Um, Sorry about that. No, oh, no, no. Okay. I, I imagine he um, corrected that because we had a, a fun exchange about, you know, Emma Watson. that you were really Emma an actress, Watson. or maybe Emma <laughs> yeah. Watson actually had joined our meeting. Great. Uh, <laughs> So, um, so I, I, I'm pretty sure that that's been corrected. Okay. Um, so if we could just, I just emailed those to you, Court. Great. Thank you. So if we could just, um, take a quick moment, Emma, do you have them now? Yes. yes. Okay. So if we could just take, you know, a moment to read through and then we can vote. Sounds good. Okay. And, um, Sydney, since you were not a commissioner for the July meeting, you can yeah. uh, choose to abstain. Okay. I'll still call your name, but since you weren't at the meeting, you don't know if they're accurate or not. Okay. If that works for you. That works. You good, Jeremy? I'm good, yeah, thank you. I think my only correction is just at the bottom, it says the sidewalk inventory is from 2019, but I think it's from 2018. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. But obviously not huge. It is. It's Alta 2018. Thanks for catching that, Emma. Um, did you, can you make a note of that? as well yeah yeah i'll make that correction in there too yeah so is there a motion to approve the minutes from july 9th 2024 i'll make a motion to approve so uh councillor dubs made a motion to approve and is there a second it. 
Emma Cornwell, thank you, seconded the motion. Um, so a roll call vote. Emma Cornwell? Yes. I approve. And Sydney Meininger? I'm going to pass. And Councillor Dubbs? Yes. And I vote yes as well. Thank you all. So uh, next on the agenda is an update from City Council. If there is one, no pressure, Councilor Dubs. If there is not, um, yeah, the, uh, there kind of isn't one because we've had some time off over over the past uh, the couple months. We've had one meeting each month, but um, not really any anything very eventful at the two meetings that we've had. Um, <clears throat> I guess I would just just wanted to say since um, it's been a while since we met. I have like like I like it's been now that it's been like a little over half a year since I've been counselor. I, I've been sort of like reflecting on ways that I could like serve the disability commission as counselor. You know what I mean? Like like what I can do as counselor. And um, so a couple ideas that I've had. These are just things that are ideas right now, but like hopefully to look forward to in the future. Um, like since we've been talking a lot about sidewalks, I've been thinking about like what the obstacles that we've been facing and which is mainly funding for sidewalks. And um, so, and also I would say like staffing at DPW and funding of the DPW too. Um, so I guess my hope is that over the next few months I can work on any, probably more than a few months, but you know, the next year or so work on, you know, trying to figure out ways to find funding for sidewalks. And one idea that I had is a, sidewalk stabilization fund, which would be like a fund that's like set aside for sidewalks. And I don't know where the source of the money will come from yet. You know, like that's something I'm going to talk to other counselors about and see like what ideas we can come up with. And, and maybe hopefully that uh, accompanying, accompanying that would be like a resolution to support uh, fixing sidewalks and putting money aside for that. So that's just kind of ideas that I've been brainstorming about, but uh, as far as updates, there's nothing like concrete right now. That's those are great ideas. Cool, thank you. Yeah, I'd love thank to talk you. to you more about it too. Maybe we could like meet up sometime. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. That'd be, that'd be great. Sidewalk stabilization fund. Yeah, it sounds sounds good, doesn't it? It does. And getting voters behind it. Yeah, definitely. Um, is there an update on Forty One Strong? I know yeah, that's so not related actually, to city well, council, but yeah, but um, actually, to you. <laughs> today I did get an update. Actually, it's funny that you asked that because um, there was there's been a delay because um, oh, let me read the text. I got a I got a text from the lawyer who helps me with that case. He says um, he spoke to Vulcan, who's the owner of the building, and there may be a delay in the installation because the lift manufacturer keeps changing what they need in terms of site specs. He's meeting with their guy today and he's going to update us after that. So, yeah, it looks like there's been like some back and forth between like the wheelchair lift people and the, the building owner. So there's been some delay, but hopefully that will, it's being worked on though. And it's still going to happen. Great. Yeah. Great. Thank you for that update. Mm -hmm. Good timing. <laughs> yeah. Good timing. Yeah, definitely. Um, so next on the agenda is uh, reflecting on the online resource fair that we held in July. It was um, fantastic speakers and so appreciative of all the folks who showed up and shared information and asked questions. Um, ben included from Forbes Library. Um, so if anyone wants to share anything or reflect about it or ways we could do it differently next time um now is a good time and jacob feel free to jump in if you have thoughts as well i i thought it was great i um i it feels like it would be fun to do it in person next year mm. <laughs> or maybe like a hybrid i don't know if that would be possible um I know it had come up previously in previous commission meetings. And it's it's also just a great opportunity for community building if you're you know with people in person. Um, and then the only other thing I was going to say is I don't know if we can put the recording somewhere. Um, it, 
to make it or if that was part of the plan to like you know take what people have said and make those available kind of in perpetuity on the web on the city website or something thank you for bringing that back into my awareness at least yeah that's a good reminder <laughs> because yes um, it's supposed to be going onto the city's website um, yeah so there's already it's already on youtube like it's been they, all our meetings get uploaded onto youtube um so i think all keith would have to do would be to like Put the link on our website because the link is already there. You know the, the 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 recording is already there. It just needs to be linked to on our website. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I can, oh, you could I do can that put too. Put the link on there. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. So it would yeah. be. Yeah. Do you know the? I don't remember the date. Sorry. What was the date? Yeah, I've I've seen it in the archives in the okay, uh, cool. in the open media Northampton open media archives on YouTube. So I can awesome. I can certainly attach it there. So no thank problem. You, thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Any other thoughts or reflections? My um, main thought, I mean, I like thought it was so great and that there was such a wealth of knowledge um, amongst everyone. And I thought Jeremy did a great job of um, emceeing. Oh, thank you. Um, my main thing was just timing. It felt very long. Mm. Um, and I don't, I feel like we kind of struggled in planning it to come up with a good solution for timing. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess just to think about that more for you know, next time we do this is just how to um I don't know. I feel, I I feel like I personally was kind of fading after like an hour. And so how to I don't know. Get it a a little shorter or break it up more so that there's more in the Q and A, and yeah, but I mean, I don't know if that was other people's experiences. Also, would you say that you think that like an hour would have been the appropriate time, or do you, yeah, you, or, I think yeah. so. Or even having like a a break. Yeah. Maybe for like, so people could like go to the bathroom or. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Get water, or whatever. Um, yeah. Or just, yeah, I feel like about an hour of people like telling me things is kind of as much as I can absorb in like one sitting. But. Um. I um I remember if you don't mind me, um I remember um the um the director of disability services at Smith College that passed away and we uh, we went to her funeral. Yeah. I remember there was a quote. Um, there was a I think it might have been you. I forget who it was. It might have been you that said it. But like you, somebody quoted her as saying that like um if something is too long, it's like not access. It's actually not not considered accessible. You yeah. Know what I mean? So I think but... there is something to be said about that. That does sound like Laura. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so yeah, I think that's a valid, um, legitimate concern. If something is, if it's too long and too much for people to process. <clears throat> yeah. Well, so we'll have to keep that in mind if we decide to do something like this for next year and kind of brainstorm how we, you know, if we have it in person, we have breakout groups or you know like yeah yeah you have to pick and choose and so you know it's a trade-off of getting more information and having it go totally long or you get to focus in and pick and choose and um you know you don't get as much information but you maybe pay attention and are engaged yeah. more yeah ones that you're or i think if it's all also recorded 
Mm -hmm. you know people can go to pick one to go to but you know if they're interested in all of the resources they could pick it up you know watch the recording after Mm -hmm. but yeah 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 thank you yeah thanks for that input yeah sydney I would also agree. I feel like there was so many people that, to a point, I was like, I've heard so many that by the end, I was kind of bored of listening to people talk. Like, yeah. I feel like it's more of an interactive way we could have done it. Great. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah, Jacob. I just did wanted to agree. <laughs> it was long. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was. And then can I just add one more thing? Um uh, David Fenton, the guy who was the from Triad supplying equipment, mm-hmm. ended up I ended up hooking up with him, and he brought ramps to Camp Howe, um, and they installed them, and it allowed my kid to go for a week to Camp Howe this summer. So yeah, oh wow, yeah. that's great. It was that's really cool. Very cool. Yeah. Anyway. Right on. Is that so like I was, was glad, I was glad I was awake for that portion of the <laughs> definitely. So did that happen, Jacob, because you attended this and listened to him and reached out to him? Um, I mean, I had heard about him, but then this like allowed me to yes, get his contact information. And then I reached out saying, like, I just heard you on the disability commission thing. Yeah, you know that was like the intro. Yes, so oh, yes, wow. I would say yes. It it was the the link. Very cool. That is fantastic. Yeah, I'll send a picture of the ramps. They put them in. There's like these huge. This eight. He brought this eighteen foot ramp and just gave it for free. And then they camp how people put it on, and it was really cool. That is fantastic. Yeah, that is fantastic. And they were a little flustered because he showed up in a cop car. <laughs> like, why are the cops here <laughs> <laughs> right right because he works for the for the sheriff's department yeah right? he works for the sheriff mm-hmm. that's super cool thanks for sharing that um all right are we okay to move on yeah i guess i was just gonna maybe just add that i i feel like i should take some accountability for the fact that it was long because some of the speakers went on longer and i i think i was the one responsible for cutting people out but I there was a it was, it was really hard to tell people or to figure out a spot to say it's like that your time is up you know what I mean I felt like I had a hard time with that so it's not your fault Jeremy. yeah okay <laughs> just wanted to say that no, no not no. sorry not trying to criticize or blame anyone oh no I didn't think you were yeah no it was great I, yeah it was, <laughs> yeah yeah, cool. yeah. yeah we, I mean we chose to have that many speakers and we right we knew it was going to be you know, tight. And, yeah, definitely. You know, we did we a good job. To, we have to start somewhere and then, you know, we learn and we go from there. Definitely. Yeah, it's all good. Cool. Um, all right. Discussing the 2018 sidewalk report and uh, making recommendations to DPW. So um, uh, Keith sent us the sidewalk report. Um, so I didn't know if um, I did pull out a few pages if we want to go into that level of kind of summary, not, you know, it, it takes a long time to read the whole thing. Yeah. If anyone wants kind of summary, we could do a screen share and I could show a few pages or we could just go into um, making recommendations uh, that that Emma and I will share with uh, DPW. Either way works for me. Emma or Sydney? Do you, I mean, do you feel like you have a good grasp? Sorry. Could you explain to me? Yeah, it is kind of hard to, to, especially there are certain parts that are difficult to uh, decipher what's being said on them. So yeah, I guess if maybe it wouldn't hurt to, for us to look at it together. And Sydney, I don't know if you froze or you you broke up, so I didn't quite hear um, what you said. Oh you yeah, were... I froze. 
Okay. Um, could you explain what the sidewalk thing is? Yes. So, um, and if I am off base, please anyone jump in. So um, the city hired uh, a company to kind of do this massive inventory of the sidewalks in Northampton. And so they took both a handheld device um, and they had a, a wheelchair with sensors on it and a, a video recorder on the front and someone, mm -hmm. an, an able-bodied person pushed the wheelchair on every single sidewalk. I mean, it's like hundreds of miles <laughs> of sidewalk. Oh, um, to to look at the integrity of the sidewalk, you know, to look for cracks and holes, potholes, yeah. that kind of thing, but also to look at the the pitch, the slope, um, mm -hmm. and it's, it's the sidewalks, but it's also the the curb cuts, um, and uh, so where like where driveways slope down to the roads and yeah. the curb cuts for pedestrians. Um, so it was a it was a massive study, and quite honestly, personally, reading through the report, I just get overwhelmed because there are just so many miles of sidewalk and so many miles that are in disrepair, um, and so many curb cuts that are not compliant. That it's you know it's feels a little. <laughs> disheartening you know it's like the city trying to plug up the holes that just keep forming in a bucket yeah mm -hmm. um, because we're all using the 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 surfaces all the time so they're getting more and more wear um so that's mm -hmm. kind of the general so they they um and actually are you able to screen share um, yeah i mean i can I will... make, make somebody the co-host yeah um, cause I will, um, okay. there you go. try and pull up the, I have the, okay. the there you go. Here. You should be able to do it now. Okay. Opening. Sorry, I'm on an old computer. We'll see if this works. It says it's opening system preferences. <laughs> um, So it is not, um, would you like me to try? On my end? Sure, Mike. I think if, yeah, if you have it open. I do, yeah. Um, do we know okay. what page we want to look at? Yes, thanks. Um, so page three shows the tiers, which I was just going to start explaining. Okay, cool. I'll open. Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay, let's try this. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, yep. So in, um, in the study, um, okay. so yeah, if you go to page three. Sorry, just here nope. we go. Um, so, so they, this, the, the folks who did this broke it down into four tiers. So basically um, just different categories. 
Um, and sorry, I'm having a hard time scrolling while I'm on. There we go. There we go. Okay. So. So yeah, if you keep going down. Okay. Um, almost. I think that's page one. Okay, so this is page two. Two. Three. Right here. So yeah. Oh, and it is very tiny, but. Um, um I could try here, to fix that. I can fix one. that. Um, oh, thanks. Well, that works. This one is within a quarter mile of the seven public schools. Mm -hmm. So that is the the red circles. And then tier two within a quarter mile of downtown Northampton and Florence. Mm -hmm. So those are the, the purple dotted circles. And then tier three says a quarter and half mile of the business districts and all schools. So I think that's the the shaded gray ring yeah. around those now nine circles. And then tier four is all the segments outside of any of that area. Wow. So those are just kind of the the categories of how they're um maybe how they're they're weighting them. So um maybe more priority going to the areas close to the schools and close to the downtowns. Um, Jeremy, can you get us to page seven? Yes. So as they were, um, oh, there's a picture of the, the wheelchair they were pushing around. So as they were going mm -hmm. on all these miles and miles of um, sidewalks, they had a scoring system. Um, so I think down a little further, Mm -hmm. One second, sorry. Um, down further? Yeah. So page seven, and the page numbers are Oh, it is page seven, okay. Oops. Oh, is that seven? This is seven, yeah. Do you see the, the numbers on the shoes in the bottom corners of the pages? So you're actually on page two. Oh, okay. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, no, it's it's a weird. Uh, I was yeah, I was following the yeah. That's sorry. all good. It's all good. So that's that's their shoe number seven. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So um. So the graph tier one, two, three, and four in the kind of purple or deep blue and red. You know, in tier one, for example, there's I need my glasses. Hundred and thirty, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, hundred and thirty um, total sidewalks. A hundred and eight were okay. So over seventeen means really bad, <laughs> and so twenty two were in very very bad condition. Um, and so you can look in each of the tiers. So those are near the schools. And then near the downtowns, 31 of those seg segments of sidewalks were in horrible condition. Um, and then tier three, that's the, the gray area. So a quarter to half a mile around each of those circles, um, 88 were in really horrible condition. And then in the rest of the, the city, 42 were in really horrible. And so remember that the the ones in the you know blue purple um it doesn't mean they're in pristine condition it just means um they they didn't have they weren't littered with potholes and the slope horrible and you know um were totally impassable mm -hmm. uh, it just means they weren't they weren't as bad um and then just a, a graphic, a quick graphic, just to know kind of the scope of what's going on, page 10 and 11. So if you can scroll down just three pages. Um, Jeremy, thank you. So mm -hmm. this is um, these are graphics on non-compliant curb ramps. Is it this one? Uh, that is 10, yes. Yeah. So this is, okay. I think this one is um, downtown Northampton. And so the bright green is non-compliant curb ramps. And so you can just, you know, it's just a visual. So you can see how many green dots there are 
all over. And then if you go down to the next page, I think that is Florence. Yeah. yeah. So again, lots of green dots. Um, and actually then if you go to the next page, page 12 is the motor vehicle curb ramps. Oh. So just the graph at the top, there 36% are compliant. So 64% are not compliant. So too steep or broken, or, you know, there's um, cross slope, passing width, like just, yeah, not, not okay. Um, so at the end of the report, um, they, they show kind of a, priorities based on all this data, right? So they're picking out certain segments um, within the, the top tiers um, as sidewalks that they recommend based on all the data that they recommend um, get. Yeah, so this is some of, oh no, sorry, this is least compliant. Yeah. Um, Oh, but I yeah, think, I think there's a list or is, it, is this it or prioritize sidewalks is that what you want to look at? Oh, yeah, yeah. prioritize sidewalk segments. So that's for tier one. So that's near the schools. So they're pulling out certain sidewalks that are the worst off. Um, is that what you wanted to look at or do, do I just to... yeah, I mean, it's like. Just so we all know that like that's how. Um, this is how these were come to by the um, by the company um, that was doing this. So, so there's a whole list in here of the kind of their their priority mm -hmm. uh, sidewalks and here's tier um, two, and so that is tier two. That's near the the downtowns. Um, so it's one of the. So I'm looking over near Main Street. Um, I'd have to look up. I don't remember now what number seven three two. Yeah, three. it's up at the top there, Amy. Actually, it's oh, okay. Union so. Street between Parsons and Market. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um. So, the city has all this information. And so they're well aware of these um, recommended priority sidewalks. And so we could add to this list with any of our own um, recommendations that we have based on either our own experience or experience from family or friends, uh, conversations that we've had. Um, I know Rodney had mentioned a couple months ago that South Street is in mm -hmm. really bad condition. So I um, have that on the, the beginning list to go to DPW. Yeah, Sydney. There's one on King Street near the fire department and the, I think it's the athletic gym. I don't know what it's exactly called, but there is a huge um, crack in the sidewalk. I only Charlie. know this because I fell in the crack of it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it was a couple months ago, but I figured someone needs to be aware that there is a big crack. Where? Yeah. Sorry, what street is that on again? It's on King Street, like going towards like all the shopping. Okay. But it's past the stop and shop. So as you said, it's near the fire department and the... Yeah, um, it's like across, it's like right... <laughs> Diagonal, you can see the fire department's here, the sidewalk is here, and it's like right here. Okay, great. But if you don't see it, you're gonna fall like I did. So, yeah, so that happened to you. Um, other uh, sidewalk, I, um, I would echo that, um, on South Street because not only from my own experience, but I have a lot of people that live in Ward 4. Who have written to me about South Street sidewalks and and about how how dangerous they are. Um, from my own experience, I would also add Market Street. Um, I've had really really bad experiences trying to get around on Market Street. Both I would say both the sidewalks and 
all curb curb cuts and driveways or like the motor vehicle curb cuts and the regular like all of all of the curb like basically main street or sorry market street is pretty bad like throughout i would say mm -hmm. <clears throat> um sorry sydney has her hand up so i would also say they should repaint all the crosswalks they're all pretty faded mm -hmm. just like all over the city yeah like all over the city in general yeah court uh, I was going to say I I noticed that the um, that they are repainting the sidewalks or the crosswalks actually um, they're out there's a, a nighttime company that goes out and paints them and they just started painting on Old South Street and Cons in that good. area they're so they're going to eventually get through painting. you know a good portion of the city before um, before it freezes I think winter but, yeah. yeah. So I know that that's being done anyway. Wow. Great. Um, I went exploring over um, Holyoke Street, Pomeroy mm. Terrace, Williams area. And um, there are, they're, they're horrible. They're in mm. horrible condition. Um, and I, I have to pull up the map to get all the side streets, but Holyoke, um, Williams, and Pomeroy are are at the the very least need to be entirely redone and put in. And so there's some sections that don't even have sidewalks. But then in between um, Pomeroy and, well, can someone help me out? I know. Uh, the the driving school is on Holly. Holly. Oh, yeah. Holly Street. Um, yeah. there there are side streets in there, mm -hmm. and I think one of the side streets is kind of okay, and the rest are mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. So it's like the whole section in there. Mm -hmm. Um, Mont is it Montvale? Montvale. Mont Montview, yeah, uh, Montview or Mont. Montview. Montview, I think. What's Montview? Okay. I think um, so. Doesn't doesn't even have a sidewalk, maybe? Hmm. Um, or at least part of it doesn't. Yeah, I, I have. I think I've heard people talking about Mont. That was. I remember one time I got an email about that. The sidewalks okay. on Montview. So, I I would um, love for us. Oh yeah, Montview. Thank you. Um, I would love for us to add um at the very least holyoke williams and pomeroy as kind of the main roads to that need to be redone that i think they're high priority um to tag on especially oh court i'm glad you're here with the the grant that the the city um got thanks to court who's been heading that up to put in the accessible trail mm -hmm down behind um, the, the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the and, terrace trails, yeah. Um, someone living in that neighborhood who mm -hmm. uses a mobility device can't get to right. the accessible trail. And so, I mean, that's, my understanding is that is, you know, a, a large reason why we selected that site is because we want it to be a neighborhood place mm -hmm. and not have sure. to drive to it. Um, and so I, I think at least, you know, mm -hmm. those main, the main streets back in there, making them um, mm -hmm. redone and have the sidewalks be compliant, ADA compliant, would go a long way to supporting the city's efforts with accessible trails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that all sounds good. I mm -hmm. I got an email recently about Holyoke Street sidewalks from mm -hmm. somebody that lives there and mm -hmm. also said they were they were concerned about the sidewalks on that street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and you can't even go into the streets. Not that you should have to go into a street, right. but the but streets you can't even... are are in horrible condition as well. Right. Yeah. It's, like, it's just not passable. 
in yeah. a in a mobility device. It's mm -hmm. it's it's like might as well be Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um other ideas for I was gonna say, um Amy, I know that if uh, if you reach out to DPW in the case of like the King Street crack, they, yeah. they will go out and actually patch that. I mean, it's yeah. not really making the sidewalks more ADA compliant like you would have to do in that um, in right. that sort of Montview neighborhood or something. Right. But but they will if there is a crack, and certainly if somebody has had you know, has fallen or something in that, they will make that a priority to crack to fill it crack anyway so. yeah that's great but yeah i'll report the the king street crack separately yeah to, to dpw so sure. that we get that as kind of like a work order that absolutely yeah that's what they would do to. is and you can do that you can do it online there is a work order form online or you can reach out to cindy over at dpw and Thanks. and she'll put in yep. a work order for you yeah um Perfect. The other thing too is that in the capital improvement plan, you know, they do allocate two hundred fifty thousand dollars, or that's what was allocated this year. I know in in previous years it's been less than that, mm -hmm. um, but there is money that is allocated towards sidewalks, and I, you know, it's my understanding that they were supposed to take on the beginnings of those tier one kind yeah. of sidewalks initially, but yeah, um, yeah, Thank you, you know, so there is. Uh, you could, yeah. Yeah. Um, I I was wanted to say two things along the lines of what Court just said is it. Uh, I didn't realize that you could make those specific requests, and that feels like really worthwhile. Um, <laughs> because it, looking at that report, it's like years and years of work. Um, so patching seems like a good you know initial step. Um. And then around that two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars, I um, have a lot of questions about that. Um, like I think that's wedded to, or ends up being used to repair sidewalks that are next to street repair projects. Um, like it, the ADA requires that if you do repave your streets or redo your streets, you have to at the same time redo the sidewalks. So that means that the street repair and cars and driving gets the priority for the sidewalk budget, um, which I have a lot of problems with. Um, and it seems worthwhile advocating to disentangle that budget from the street budget and make them use the street budget to repair this the sidewalks that need to be repaired, which are not necessarily on that priority list, even if that priority list isn't perfect, it's at least around fixing sidewalks, not around fixing streets. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's why, frankly, the streets in front of our house ended up being, the sidewalks in front of our house ended up being fixed. I now really don't think it had anything to do with my complaining. I think that was, uh, luck and happenstance to be honest because they're doing a bunch of streets in florence right now and they have to do those sidewalks um and so they ended up yes doing those sidewalks but it wasn't because they you know were trying to fix it because i was complaining um and it, in any case um i found it really frustrating that i i've heard city council members say well we have two hundred fifty thousand dollars that we put towards the sidewalks but ultimately, it's really because they legally have to fix the sidewalks that are next to the streets that they're fixing. And it's not with the interest of making it more ADA compliant and accessible, is my suspicion. Um, so I don't know if there's a way to like bring that to the city council as a, um, I don't know, a directive of some sort to say, you know, the budget for the sidewalks has to comply with the 2018 sidewalk uh, assessment thing that we were just looking at or, or whatever. It has to be geared towards fixing sidewalks for the purposes of making them accessible, not for the purposes of above, uh, fixing sidewalks next to street projects that are in effect. Um, that, and then one last little quick thing is, is like, I know that when you went to talk to the DPW, they said it like it's important to do the sidewalks like like economically it's more expensive to bring the equipment. So, but they got the sidewalks done so much more quickly here. And I would like to just know when is the last time they fixed a sidewalk 
that where they didn't actually fix the street? Like, has that happened? And if it doesn't happen, like, why not? Can we like start to prioritize, you know, sidewalks over cars? Like what's worse, a broken leg, a, a concussion from falling in your wheelchair or a flat tire? Come on, like, let's get this straight. I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but it's just, it's incredibly annoying. I, yeah, I'm not sure how the formulas all work and the priorities all work um, in terms of the sidewalks being impassable versus the roads being impassable and and the budget and you know all these factors kind of coming together um but on a maybe a comical side is that some of the sidewalks that we have listed the roads are so bad that you know it's going to be a a great two for one <laughs> like the roads need to be redone the sidewalks need to be redone so you know if we wait long enough for certain areas then it all needs to be redone. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, but I, I hear what you're saying about um, prioritizing the streets and then having the sidewalks just be kind of this tag along side um, project versus doing the sidewalks and having the streets be a tag along. You know, I mean, there's there's a uh, different approaches, but um, I do not want. Uh, director Lascalia's job. I do not envy her position of trying to make heads or tails of the complexity um, with within the budget. Um, so I know that she works really hard and wants to fix sidewalks. And so she is on our side. And um, so I appreciate her uh, allowing us to give input on sidewalks that, that we we believe are you know really top priority so um we'll just we'll keep trying and keep working together and um and hopefully make some good headway for for the for all of us in northampton um any other sidewalks uh to add to the list that we emma and i pass on to dpw <laughs> Um, and go sorry, ahead. sorry. Um, I see Sydney is not here anymore. Oh, that is the case. Oh, well, that means we don't have quorum. We do not have quorum. So I don't know if. Yeah. Something happened. Maybe they'll be back, or. But if she, yeah, if she's not able to join us, then we'll need to. Adjourn. Adjourn and. Um, continue oh she's back oh she's back hold on oh good there we, oh oh she was for a second and then then she disappeared oh, oh. there you go there we go good. yeah i clicked i clicked admit on that oh great oh thanks thanks Jeremy. sorry yeah <laughs> thanks Alfred. all right um Welcome okay back. So, sorry any uh i think emma you were gonna say something and then jeremy yeah um um <laughs> I mean, I I feel like we've been all talking about the sidewalk situation for so long. Um <laughs> but um like Main Street just it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really like pretty much impossible for me to be alone on Main Street and like navigate the sidewalks um and i feel like the mayor has been like oh when the redesign happens you know exactly. all the sidewalks will get fixed um but i feel like the redesign doesn't start until 2026 i don't know i just kind of i hear uh, you Com yeah sorry i'm not trying to cut you off yeah no. go ahead no, I just, um, yeah, I feel like the conditions of the sidewalks on Main Street are maybe more urgent than 2026. And, like, certainly there are 
like a lot of curb cuts that are like impassable um terrible and yeah that's that's just i feel like i mean i feel like probably most of us are on main street in northampton a lot and that feels like a really big priority <laughs> um or like relevant to you know most people who live in Northampton or Florence um and then the sidewalk outside of on the way and out on the way to Forbes from main from main street also feels like oh yeah a huge issue and a huge priority I think it's really I mean that Ben is here and can probably better articulate a lot of this but I think access to the library is like so important and is like an access issue um and yeah having an access issue to get to an ac like accessible tool feels like very messed up yeah sorry i kept uh interjecting it was only because i was agreeing so much with everything you said it was like hard not to i was so excited to hear what you were saying it's hard not to say no, anything. no i didn't take it that way okay so, um but i just wanted to yeah like echo what you said and my how my frustrations also especially as city councilor because um like i had to vote on the on the budget and on the ci on the CIP that court was talking about. I voted no on those things because of this, because the, um, like Jacob was saying, like um, there's not enough money being put towards sidewalks. And then especially what you're saying about Main Street, it's been really frustrating for me because I was, I mentioned, I mentioned the sidewalks leading to Forbes Library, the sidewalks in front of the uh, the church that is going to be the resilience hub soon, how bad that, how bad they are. And the, the mayor's response at our city council meeting was that oh well that's going to be fixed in the main street redesign and you know and and i know that's true but it's really frustrating because like we need that to happen now you know we have to wait like two years you know what i mean it's, it's ridiculous and so like i just completely agree with what you're saying yeah sydney i agree with you i feel like downtown they they should really fix the sidewalk sooner than 2026 i feel like a lot of people People are saying they're not great. They're in bad condition. They should fix them. Yeah, I know very little about the timing, but I do know that the um, website says 2025 is design and construction and that 2026 is just construction. Mm -hmm. Suggesting maybe we'll get some of this next Same. year, but I certainly am not ready to say that that's going to happen, but I can hope. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think this is a really relevant issue. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Court. Or, oh, or no, 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 go ahead, Kelly. I was just going to say that, like, I'll, I'll, I'll ask these questions and try to get, for the next meeting, I'll try to try to let people know some concrete information about the timing about mm -hmm. the construction on the sidewalk, so that way we'll know exactly what we're talking about, you know what I mean? So I'll just, at least I could try to provide that. That's great. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, it was, it was my understanding that summer 2025 is going to be the beginning of the construction, basically, for uh, Picture Main gotcha. Street. So, but I don't know how, you know, I don't know how the sidewalks, where that will fall yeah. in yeah. the project. And like three phases, I think there's three sections that are going to be done. So I'm not sure where they'll start on Main Street, but um, yeah. Thank you for that information, sure. Sydney. Sure. What I don't understand is they keep redoing Damon Road. Why don't they work on a project that's a lot more important, like fixing all the sidewalks and everything downtown? But no. I think Damon Road is not the city. I think that's the only city. Yeah, I think that's the city. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who it is then, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a this state pot of money. Mm -hmm. um, any um, I was gonna I, I was gonna mention Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was, yeah. Any other streets to add? I was going to mention State Street. State, and I would say Finn Street also, which is like a side street off of State Street. Okay. 
Um, yeah, and I, I think, and those are also like very traveled streets. And I, I think that it kind of echoes what we've all been talking about in this meeting is that a lot of the times it's it's not the main streets that people go on that get fixed, you know, which is that's why it's so frustrating for us. The the it's often the least populated sidewalks that get that get redone. You know what I mean? And so yeah, so and State Street is pretty bad, which you know, surprising because the mayor lives on that street. But it's, yeah, it's really bad. All right. So um, I'll compile all of this and send it to DPW so that they have our recommendations as they're determining projects for 2025. So thank you all for the conversation and your input. Appreciate thank it. you for doing that. Amy. Yeah, thanks for doing that. Oh, yeah. Um, so the last agenda item is checking in on the PSA announcement about snow shoveling, the yes. snow removal. Um, Councilor, do yeah. you have a thoughts or update or? I guess I had questions, uh, some questions yeah. about it because um, I'm not sure like how, if we have a budget for it or not. Like, like I feel like it would be hard. I don't think we do have a budget and I don't know how, I guess we'd have to talk about how we're gonna produce it for free or, or whether we're gonna fund it Part, like with our own funds I don't really you know what I mean because um I feel like and to ask somebody to to um devote that much time to it like I I don't know how to make a, a video of my personally I'd have to we I feel like we'd have to ask somebody to do it for us and and to, to ask them to devote time without um without money and I guess my thought another thought is that in order to rent equipment from Northampton open media you have to, or you have to pay, it has to be paid for, you know what I mean? Like we could rent equipment to, to like video cameras, but it would cost money, you know what I mean? So that was, I just didn't know how to move forward with the PSA without knowing like how we're gonna produce it. Hmm. And I, I know that's kind of a tough question. I was just looking at my notes from, I spoke with Al Williams, who's at the Open Media. Um, okay. And I wrote down that we need to formulate our messaging. So we do a script and then work on footage to go with the script and bring someone in to do the voice and that they would do the recording of the voice and then they could upload it. But I don't remember the details about that work on the footage <laughs> right yeah so is that us work like making the footage and then bringing it to them well that's my question because i know that you can rent video cameras from them um like i don't know you know we can make it ourselves like we could we could be the actors in it but i don't mm -hmm. know but technically like tech technically speaking i i don't personally know how to make a like i don't i, I don't I don't know how to work a video camera, for example, you know, so right. we'd have to have, have somebody to do that. We, it could be one of us if one of us knows how to do it. Um, sorry. So yeah. Should I reach out to him again? It seems like, and, and uh, remember, <laughs> because I did not take clearly detailed notes That's okay. uh, about who is doing the footage. Do they have equipment? Do they come out and film with us? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like maybe somebody, Amazing. Maybe somebody's willing to, there could be somebody that's willing to do that. Right. Um, I do remember that the voice, you know, they could do it or one of us could go in and record with them there, but I don't remember the actual footage. So um, let me follow up. Awesome. Yeah. And you can feel free to like, if you have any questions, like we could like talk together about it if you have, okay. if they have any questions or yeah. Perfect. Emma, do I see your hand? Yeah. Um, I have thrown out this idea before, so not to whatever. I may have forgotten. Again, sorry. but to do it again. <laughs> um, East Hampton made one of these PSAs. Oh yeah. And and so I have suggested um like asking if we can use their video and then just doing our own voice recording that 
seems like maybe no cost or little cost um and would solve the issue of like film you know having someone film it and then also having people out in this you know disabled people out in the snow trying to get around um but yeah definitely not as fun as making our own <laughs> not as creative we had some yeah. fun ideas you and Jacob had put together a great a great script but thank um, you yeah I agree it was fun but yeah maybe not as practical as what Emma's saying <laughs> and, <laughs> as, and, and as economical it's not as fast that is for sure yeah yeah um so let me I'll um send an email to the East Hampton Disability Commission and see if I can um find someone who uh will respond um and see if they're open to that. So I'll track down both uh, both options and then we can bring that back next month. Cool. To see what we can do from there. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Anything else on that topic? All right. And other business not anticipated? I do have one quick thing that came up this week. I'm part of... Um, uh, a climate resiliency initiative with the city um, and uh, city is trying to bring in populations that um, are going to be or are being more affected by climate change and so the disability community as one of those populations um, and so we're trying this group of, of people who are kind of thinking and working on this, um, we're trying to have conversations with people in various communities. And so um, if any of you are willing to have a conversation with me, you know, super casual, um, and it would just be getting your, your experiences, your thoughts, um, what's happening for you now, what you, are current concerned about in the future as climate change happens more and more, um, you know, ways that your life is being affected. Um, so if any of you are willing to have a conversation with me to um, share any of that, or if you know of anyone who might be interested um, in chatting for, I mean, it could be 20 minutes or 45 minutes or, you know, whatever um, ends up happening, then um, if you could let me know or think about it, that'd be great. Awesome. Any any other business not anticipated? All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make, make a motion to adjourn. Oh. Thank you. I'll second that. Emma, Emma Cornwell does a motion to adjourn and Councillor Tubbs seconds the motion to adjourn. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you, everybody. Um, our hearty small group. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Corey. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Good to see you. Take care.